Hey what's up guys, it's Nash Crafter and welcome to my channel for a brand new series. Today we're starting a brand new series that I'm super excited for. This has been a long awaited series for me personally. I've been wanting to do this since I started my YouTube channel about 8 or 9 months ago and we're finally getting to it. We are finally starting a new series and this is a regular old vanilla plain old single player let's play minecraft series i've said it a million times but i really truly am so excited because this is a series that basically i'm just gonna i'm just gonna let my creativity flow and i'm just gonna be building a lot i'm gonna try to experiment with a lot of redstone and we're gonna explore snapshots in the future and new minecraft updates which is gonna be so awesome so I'm excited for this journey and I hope you guys are too, but without further ado, we need to hop right in and get started on all of the basic Minecraft starter stuff. Alright guys, so first thing we need to do is we need to punch some trees down. So we're going to go over here, we're going to start off by getting oak wood. Now I'm not going to show too much of the starter stuff, like starting farms and things like that, uh, because you guys have probably seen that before here on YouTube. So I don't want to bore you with all of the, you know, the early game stuff. So we'll do a little bit of it here and there. And I'll I'll be sure to update you guys if I do anything off camera for sure. Now I can't believe it's taken me this long to actually start a, you know, a single player world. Because I've been a fan of single players since I started playing Minecraft. Which was about two years ago. I started my first, actually I started in creative. And then I started, oop, what am I doing? And then I did single player. And then I did mods, and then I started my YouTube channel. I did mods on my YouTube channel, and now we're going back, and we're doing some single player. Now, right now we're in 1.11, Minecraft version 1.11.2, I believe, and check this out. This is so cool. This is beautiful. And uh, the spawn, actually, right over there where we spawned, is um, if you type in MC Nash, that is the seed. So MC n a s h that is the seed for this world so if you're interested in playing i just thought i'd make it super easy uh so you guys don't have to type in a bunch of numbers and so i think what i want to do is i actually want to we spawned right here so i want to just make like some weird wooden structure kind of thing and i want to mark off our spawn because i think i want to come back later and maybe make a shrine for it i think that'd be kind of cool but what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to get some stone tools and possibly get a lot more wood and then we'll start to adventure off. I also want to do a mini Q&A in this episode. So we're going to get to that towards the middle of the episode uh, once I've gathered up some materials. But I'll be right back with you guys once I've got that done. Alright guys, so I've been looking around and we do have a mesa here which is really really awesome. I'm excited because this is a huge mesa too. So we'll be able to get a lot of hardened clay from here. So I think what I want to do is I wanted to answer a few of the Q&A questions. So I asked you guys on Twitter to send me any questions that you have. I do have quite a few new subscribers and I've done Q&As in the past, but you guys might not have seen those. So I thought, you know what, for this new series, let's do a Q&A and you guys can get to know me a little better. So kind of while we're looking around, looking for a new place to live here in our world, I thought let's just answer some questions. So the first one is from Vague Druidcraft, and their question was, do you have any multiplayer series going on? So I do not currently have anything multiplayer going on on my channel. Uh, I have in the past, and I really, really enjoyed it. I love multiplayer. I think it's super fun. Uh, but just as of right now, I don't have anything, you know, I've been doing mod packs and then this new series is starting. So I don't have anything multiplayer, but I'm definitely open to multiplayer in the future. So thank you so much for that question. Um, the next one comes from Ascendancy. And his question was, do you have any special plans going forward for your channel? So I have thought about this just a little bit so when I got this question I was really thinking about you know the future of my channel and what I want to accomplish and to be honest with you guys I'm very 
you know, kind of just going with the flow here with my channel. You know, if I see a new mod pack that looks really interesting, it's something that I'll try to play. I really want this survival series to last, you know, 50 to 100 to 150 episodes. I want this to be a really long series. So I'm hoping this one goes for a while. But one thing I do want to work on is I want to vlog more because I think vlogging is super fun and it also gives you guys, you know, a look into my everyday life aside from just playing Minecraft. So I think that would be really fun to do in the future, but I would say those are the few things that I really want to try to focus on for my channel and try to progress. The next question comes from underscore A-Z-R-W underscore. Do you plan on doing any other games besides Minecraft on your channel? I also thought a lot about this question too, and I really like the game uh, The Sims. <laughs> it's a really fun game, and a lot of people play it here on YouTube, and I think that would be a fun game. I also just recently got into a game called Ark, and some of you guys might know that game as well. Uh, but that game is really, really fun, and I think if I were to play, you know, some other games on my channel, it would be Sims and Ark. So I'm definitely open to the idea of doing other games, but I just don't have any planned as of right now. So, again, it's kind of up in the air with that one. But you guys will have to let me know down in the comments section below if you guys think playing some other games would be cool, or what, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you guys think I should keep this a Minecraft channel, or... Or what's your ideas? What, what do you guys think of that? Alright guys, so I'm just traveling around. I'm trying to find a place for us to live and I saw some extreme hills over here. Now, my idea for this series was to start off in a desert. Um, I wanted to challenge myself a little bit. I've never done buildings in a desert and I've never lived in a desert um, as of, you know, playing Minecraft. So I think that would be kind of cool as a goal of ours, but I haven't stumbled upon a desert yet. So we might have to live somewhere else. I'm not sure, but I also am writing down really cool coordinates. So I'm kind of keeping my eye out for a little bit of everything here. But I think what I'll do is I'll kind of keep searching around if I find anything cool. I will come back with you guys and we'll explore that. I'll also continue answering a couple more questions. Alright guys, so I think I found a place that I'm kind of interested in living. So I found this big opened uh, kind of plains area and I really like it because it's in between these huge mountains. So we've got some mountains over there with a lava waterfall and then we've got this mountain over here with a water waterfall, a regular waterfall. So I was kind of super inspired to build maybe in between this area just as a starter place where we can basically put all of our farms. It could be like a farming village type of place and um, something really cool like that. I don't know. Now, I know I said I wanted to build in a desert, but I haven't run into one, and I, I don't know. We can always find a desert down the road and build in one later. As for right now, this is looking pretty cool. We've also got floating islands, which is always interesting, and this is a very, like, hilly, and um, it's just a really nice area. Another question that I got was from Otakaro, and they asked, what is your setup to being able to make a video from scratch to launch? Basically what I do in order to produce a video or make one of my videos is I will record and, you know, play Minecraft on a custom built PC, and that is what I film on. So I can use shaders, I can do mod packs and things like that. It's just a lot easier. Now, I've always been a Mac user, so I do edit on a Mac, so I'll go from PC, I'll record and then I'll take my video clips and I will basically transfer them onto a USB and put them into my MacBook Pro. And my MacBook Pro is where I edit everything. So I, I use iMovie. Personally, it's not my favorite form of editing, but it's really nice. It's super simple. So um, when I was first starting out my channel, it was really helpful because it was super simple. But now I actually want to switch over to Premiere Pro. I think that's going to be a lot better for me in the future. So hopefully soon I can do that. And then I also use this kind of app type thing called Handbrake. And it basically makes my video files a lot smaller. It's really nice to use and it makes the uploading process onto YouTube a lot faster. And then basically that's it. So I will just upload the video after it's done handbraking. The only thing that gets kind of tricky is that I do have to transfer it from one, one computer to another and that, that's kind of an extra step but it's just a personal preference because personally I like using uh, Macs a little bit more than PCs but I think PCs run 
video games a little bit better than Max. Like, I could not run shaders on my MacBook Pro. I've tried it before. If you guys have gotten it to work, then that's awesome, but I never could get it to work. And I also have my MacBook as a computer for school. So I am a college student, so that is why I first got my MacBook, and now I just kind of use it to edit as well as for school purposes. You guys are seriously giving the best questions. I love this. I love doing Q&As. They're so fun because I get to like interact with you guys and talk to you guys. I got another question that I wanted to answer, and it says, it's kind of a funny question. If you had to give up on Minecraft YouTube videos or makeup, which would it be? And this comes from Dr. M. And this is super easy for me. So I don't usually wear makeup on a regular basis. I love putting on makeup. I think it's really fun and you can get super creative with it. But to be honest with you guys, I don't wear makeup most days. I really don't. Um, when I was in high school, I used to a lot, but now I really don't. So 100% I would give up makeup. I... I love my YouTube channel way too much. I love filming videos way, way, way too much to give up um, my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna do a little bit more work off camera. I just wanna get something started. I think I'm gonna do some strip mining because I do need a lot more resources to start us out here. But once we come back, I'll answer a few more questions. We'll probably start on our starter house, which will be pretty cool. So I'll be right back with you guys once I've got everything going. I am doing a little bit of strip mining here and things are going eh, not as great as I would expect. I really haven't found anything. I've barely found any iron. Uh, the thing I found the most is pretty much coal and that's about it. They need a lot more resources so I've gone down to level 12 and I'm trying to see if I can maybe find some diamonds or just anything. Redstone, lapis, anything. Um, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to answer a couple more questions. Now I know mining isn't exactly the funnest thing to watch so I'm not going to do too much of it here. And woo, hold that thought really quick. What did we find here? I kind of am curious to see if there might be diamonds around here. It's just a little cave system. There's some good stuff in here, though. We could loot it out a little bit. While we're here, there's a mine shaft. Oh, this is good. This is... And diamonds. Oh my gosh, we found our first diamonds! We have found our first diamonds in the first episode. This is awesome. And a mine shaft, which is always really great. So, this is cool. Okay, so I'm going to answer these questions. I'm not going to forget about the questions. But the first question I wanted to answer was from another fellow YouTuber. A really amazing, awesome YouTuber, you guys. If you haven't checked out The Mythical Sausage, that is who asked this question. He, I can honestly say he's one of the best builders I have seen. Like, he's so talented. But The Mythical Sausage asked, What Minecraft YouTubers do you get inspiration from when you first started out your channel? I know when I started, Corrales and B-dubs were mine. I love this question because when I started playing Minecraft, YouTube was the huge reason why I fell in love with the game. I actually had no clue what this game was at all. And so I searched YouTube videos about how to play this game and how to kind of learn and and uh, I don't know, it just, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So the first people I searched when I when I was learning how to play this game was actually the same, Corrales and B-dubs. Corrales was the first person I found and then uh, B-double-O not too long after I found Corrales. A couple of other YouTubers that I did find as well was Mumbo Jumbo, who is still to this day one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. I think he is awesome. He makes really, really good quality videos. And the other one I would have to say is Ethos Lab. A lot of people are familiar with Ethos Lab as well. He's another seriously amazing, amazing Minecraft YouTuber. Check this out, guys. We have got eight diamonds. That is crazy insane. That is awesome. Eight diamonds to start us out right here at the start. Finding this mineshaft slash cave was pretty awesome. Now I got another question from Emmanuel and their question was, how long does it take you to edit your videos? And to be honest with you guys, it takes me a freakishly long time to edit my videos. Well, I guess I can't say freakish. It takes me takes me about two to three hours just to edit one video. And that's quite a long time, to be honest with you guys. I put a lot of time into it. Um, I make cuts in between most of my sentences. So I don't, like, like, the majority of my videos are very heavily edited. 
So that's why it takes me such a long time. Um, I'm hoping to, like I said earlier, switch over to switch over to Premiere Pro and hopefully that'll make things a little bit easier. But yeah, it usually takes me around two to three hours. And that is all the questions for today's mini Q&A. So it was just a little Q&A so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. And if you're new to my channel, I hope that kind of did help to get to know me a little bit. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is explore this mineshaft just a little bit. Now, I don't want you guys to have to sit through me mining a lot. This can be kind of tedious and... Uh, I don't know if you guys will necessarily like to watch this. So if I find anything cool in the mineshaft, I will definitely bring you guys back and we'll check it out together. But I'm just going to do a little bit of, you know, resource gathering and making things look really nice. So I did a little bit of mining. You guys can see I have 12 diamonds. I actually found a lot of diamonds right there at the start. So like I, I turned the corner in the mineshaft and there was like two sets of diamonds there and I was like no freaking way this is crazy I also planted a bunch of trees you guys can see here I have this crazy mountain of trees which is awesome but what I was thinking is we could actually start our starter house in this episode but I wanted to ask you guys something kind of your opinion if you think this would be a cool idea I was thinking for every single episode of this let's play world we have the second half in shaders. So the first half is going to be all vanilla. It's going to be no shaders, no nothing. Um, and then the second half of the episode will be put into shaders. So you guys can see what my world looks like, not only in vanilla, but also in shaders. So I'm going to test that out in today's episode just to kind of get your guys' opinion, get what you think. So this is what everything looks like in, you know, plain old vanilla default Minecraft, nothing too fancy to it. And we're going to switch to shaders right now. All right, guys. So here we are. We're in shaders. So I use the Chocopic 13 shaders. They're my favorite shaders, and I think they actually look pretty natural compared to, you know, some other shaders. I also have Seuss. So if you guys want to see this world in Seuss, um, we can do that really quick. So we'll go to options. Now I have Optifine installed, so that's where my shaders are. It adds this shaders category. So we're going to look at Seuss really quick, and Seuss is freaking beautiful. So this is what it looks like. Now, I get a little bit of lag with Seuss, um, and my lighting is kind of funny. It seems, it seems really light here, but this is what Seuss looks like, and it's so pretty. The only reason I don't play in Seuss is because it's very demanding on your computer, um, so even I get like tiny bits of lag. So we're not going to be playing in Seuss. We'll probably be doing Chocopic. But I thought I would show you guys what it looks like just so you guys could see it because it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. And they have different versions and stuff too. But this one is just really nice. I think the colors are very vibrant and pretty and I really like it. So let me know down in the comments section below what you think of this idea. Instead of doing, you know, um, shaders videos every once in a while, I thought, you know, why not? Uh, do it at the end of every episode or kind of the middle of every episode so you guys can see what my world looks like every single episode not only in vanilla but in shaders as well. So like I just mentioned we're going to be doing a starter house so I was thinking um, we're going to put it right in this area by these trees and I just want to make it really simple really easy so I'm going to kind of gather some resources together I do need to kind of plan this out a little bit then I'll come back and build it with you guys here on camera. Alright guys, so I have done a little bit of work on the house and it's coming along. You guys can see down here I have some diamond tools and we're getting started. So this is what I've come up with so far. It's a really, I don't know, these are kind of the only materials that I really could get my hands on. So I had to go off a little bit. I went off in that direction. I got myself some spruce as well as some dark oak and I'm trying to make our starter house very interesting. Now, it's not detailed or anything right now, and tell me what you guys think of this floor design. I've seen it a couple times before, and I really like the way it looks when you mix the different woods together, so I think this could be kind of cool. Now, I'm planning on putting chests right back here, and that'll be kind of our storage system. So, what I was thinking is I have some, oh yeah, I have them here in my inventory. We could come over here, and basically what this is, so I've got my chest and my trap chest, and this is kind of a little... A spot where I can just put all of my chests and this should be really nice and there we go so I've got just a little storage system really basic it's kind of sunken into the ground as well as this layer here kind of sunken down into the ground 
Then we can come up here and I plan on making a bridge and adding some water here. I think that'd be really nice. Let me know what you guys think of this house. I, I personally, I like it. I think I like it. Let's see, I could also even do something kind of cool like this and stack them if I need the extra storage. So I think that might be the way we do things and this is gonna be pretty good. So I just kind of have, have all of my chests along that wall and I wanted to do a little bit of this on camera with you guys just because I don't, I don't wanna do too much off camera. Um, but I was thinking we could kind of do something like this. This is sort of a bay window type thing. So we'll have a big window here and then probably uh, maybe a window right here and then right here, so two in the center. And then a window here and then we could just close this part off is what I'm thinking. Now I do need to go get more spruce. I have two saplings here and these are the only ones I have. So they're not gonna get me too far, but I think what I'm gonna do is do a little bit more work. I just wanted to come and show you guys what I've been working on. So I'm gonna get back to work. It's nighttime, I have to sleep, but next time this house should be pretty much complete. All right guys, so I think I've finished the house and this is kind of what it looks like. So it's not completely done. There's a few holes in the ceilings and stuff, but I really like the way it turned out. So I think this one's pretty awesome. I'm gonna give you guys a little look around here really quick. So this is the back and back here, I wanna add a little pond type of thing and make a bridge going over. I think that'd be really cool. And to finish out the episode, that's what we're gonna do. I also wanna work on the interior just a little bit, um, but I like it. I, you know, simple, I don't know how to explain this, but I got some beams going across and the window and then our chest down here. So I need a couple more trap chests and we'll be good to go there, but the back door, this is where the bridge will be. So everything's looking pretty good. It's coming along. It's taken me quite a while. The main thing that's been taking me the longest time is collecting all of the resources I need. I thought I was gonna be good, um, but I needed to go back into my mine and get a lot more resources. So it's been taking a little bit longer than I expected. But really quick, I just wanna make myself some coarse dirt over here on the back, kind of look like a cool pond. And I kind of have, a trick that I do when I'm building in Minecraft that I kind of always follow and that kind of rule or trick or I don't know what you could call it but it sounds weird but try to touch every block and that like I said that sounds kind of weird but what I mean by that is at least this is what I do is I try my best to touch every single block that I can and change every single block that I can. Now sometimes this isn't going to always work out, but especially when you're building something cool, like all the best builders, I feel like they try to touch every single block and change every single block in one way or another. So that's what I'm trying to do here is just trying to make sure that every block is touched. Now I could leave the ground looking just like this, Basically just, you know, a little bit of terraforming, but for the most part, it looks very vanilla. But what I mean by touch every block or change every block or as many blocks as you can is this. It kind of gives it just a different feeling and I think it can make things look really cool. So basically what I've been doing is just going through and changing certain blocks. So I'm using coarse dirt, a little bit of stone, some cobblestone and gravel, and just switching out some of the blocks that I think might look better underwater if they were actually changed. And I think this is looking pretty good. Yeah, I think this should work. This should look pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is take my water bucket and we're gonna need to fill this up quite a few times, but we're just gonna kind of fill the bottom in here and then go all the way up to the top. So now what I'm doing is just taking random bits of water and filling in the rest of this pond. So I'm gonna finish this up and I will be right back with you guys once I've got that done. And there we go. Now we've got a pool of water. It looks freaking awesome. Now, one thing I want to do is throw my stone into the pool. Okay, not what we wanted. I'm going to go around the edges and kind of make it look just a little bit more natural um, if I can, hopefully, but this should only take a couple minutes. So I'll be right back with you guys. So there we go. I've gone around the edges and kind of roughened them up a little bit just so it doesn't look so clean cut. And I think it looks a little bit better. So the next thing I want to do is go around and add some of these uh, path blocks. I think these are really cool, especially when you put them around a kind of a lake because they look so natural and they just look like 
you know, the soil's been trotted on or stepped on and walked on. And I think this just adds such a cool look. So, so maybe something like this. And so you guys can get a better idea. And it's just this big kind of lake that looks like it's in the back of a house. Now what we're going to do to make this look a lot better is I'm going to add some trees around the area as well as a bridge and then some grass. And that's really going to pull everything together, I think. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I haven't really talked too much about terraforming or landscaping because personally I'm not the best at it. I'm really not that great. Um, but this is just, I think this is so fun when you add the personal touches to a build. That's what really, really makes it fun. So I'm going to add a bridge and do all of that and I'll come back with you guys and we'll finish out this episode. All right, guys. So I am here to finish out this episode. I finished the bridge. It's very small, very simple. Um, there's, it's not too complicated or anything. And I finished out kind of the pathing around it. And I also added a little bit more detail to the actual pond so you guys might not be able to see I hope you can but I actually added some slabs down there and it kind of makes it just look a little bit more natural it flows I also added some slabs and some stairs to the sides just to give it a little bit more depth uh, the water has a little bit more depth now and I don't know I think it really pulls it together so this is what it looks like and this is the starter house. So I put a lot of time, a lot of work into the starter house, but I really do like it. Now I do need to move, I, I need to finish the roof and uh, move in some of my items. So by next episode, everything is going to be moved in. I also did a little path out here, which is nice. And I moved my bed inside, but that's the only thing that I moved inside. So everything else um, other than the chests are here. I also added a crafting station right out here just to, just in case, you know, you never know. I kind of like hiding crafting stations in random places because you never know when you're going to need a handy crafting station. So yeah, and then I just got my, I got, we've got our waterfall mountain and then our lava mountain, which is awesome and a nice little bridge going off into the rest of whatever we build. So pretty cool. I'm really happy with this and I hope you guys like it too. So that is going to have to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Now, don't forget, you guys, if you watch the next episode, you will be able to see this full build completed and in vanilla without shaders. So that's how I'm planning to kind of do every episode. We're going to start in vanilla and you guys will see all the builds in vanilla as well. Uh, vanilla without shaders. It, it is vanilla, but uh, vanilla without shaders. And then towards the end of the episode, you guys will see the full build, every build in shaders. So stay tuned. This is going to be a really exciting series. I hope you guys are ready and I am so ready. And I hope you guys all have a very beautiful, wonderful day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and you really like this video. Also, don't forget to like if you did like, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.